Good morning, y'all. <laughs> I stayed at the Rufus Morgan shelter last night. Pitched my tent right outside of it. Um, the uh, temperatures dropped down into the 30s overnight. I mean, other than the cold, it, it was still a great, great night's sleep. Um, and really, I, I didn't even feel the cold until probably 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. But, um, uh, yeah, it was good. Rufus Morgan Shelter. Um, the plans for today, well, right now I'm about 0.8 of a mile away from the NOC. That's the Nanta Nantahala Outdoor Center. It's like a, a whitewater rafting kind of school, paddling school kind of thing. But they have a outfitter there and a general store which open at nine o'clock, which it is already nine o'clock. And they also have a restaurant that opens at 11. So my plan is to get down there, um, check out the outfitter, do a two day resupply to get me to Fontana Dam, um, which it should be, yeah, two days to get me there. Um, check out the outfitter, see if there's anything I might need. And then when the restaurant opens up, I'm gonna go in there and see what they got. I think they got burgers. I'm really craving a, really craving a burger right now. Um, but yeah, the, uh, uh, where I'm gonna stay tonight, I'm thinking Sassafras Shelter, Sassafras Gap Shelter. It's, uh, it's on the climb out of the, uh, NOC, which the, uh, the climb's supposed to be pretty, uh, pretty intense. Cause I mean, we dropped down quite a bit yesterday and then you gotta climb out of the NOC um, whenever you're leaving there. So, but, uh, um, yeah, I plan on staying at that Sassafras Gap shelter, which is eight miles away from where I'm at right now, but I'm just going 0.8 of a mile to the NOC. I'm probably going to be staying there a few hours. So that's why I'm planning a short day just to get a resupply, eat, and, uh, then hike out and stay at that shelter. And then I still, um, will have two days to get me to Fontana Dam. But, um, Right now, that's the plan. Let's go uh, check out the the knock. What's up guys? I made it to the uh, Nantahala Outfitter. I got my stuff charging down there. I went ahead and uh, got two days of food at the general store across the street. I'm um, just waiting right now while well, I'm charging my stuff and I'm waiting until 11 o'clock until the uh, the Rivers Inn restaurant opens up and I'm gonna go tear up, um, tear up some food, give you a big old burger. We'll see what they got. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what I got from the general store. I got two spam packets for um, to stick in my dinner. I got four breakfast essentials to go in my oatmeal and my coffee in the morning. I got, uh, well, for my oatmeal, I got two cranberry almond and two um, cinnamon. That's all I had. Um, I got two of these nature um, Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. Um, I got this so I can split it in half and use half in one of my breakfasts and the other half in my second breakfast. Um, I got two, two Snickers, two Sour Skittles, 
and three of these uh, beef ramens. I'm just gonna use one and a half per meal and then throw that uh, a spam single packet in each one of those for my dinners. Um, but yeah, all that together was uh, $30. Well, while my uh, stuff's charging, I'm just going to take a seat right here and just look at this river and uh, eat some oatmeal. Well, I just finished off my oatmeal and then I uh, walked over to the uh, restaurant and um, um, went ahead and uh, made a reservation. So I got like 15 minutes. Um, they're going to text me whenever it's ready, but I uh, figured I can uh, walk around and uh, check out the place. <laughs> Got my stuff charged. This place is getting pretty busy. I think it's time to get back in the woods. Yeah, man. I think I was at the NOC for like four hours. <laughs> place is a vortex. Man. Okay. Well, I, uh, I got two days of food at the general store i also got some extra uh, cliff bars from the outfitter um yeah and i had a big old burger i think it was called the wesser burger with some fries man it was really good and uh where i was um sitting you know i could see the river right outside the window so that was pretty cool but uh yeah overall uh pretty good uh, resupply but now we have an uphill climb seven miles to sassafras gap shelter um yeah um i'm sure it's gonna be fun let's get to it What's up guys? Yeah, I figure I'd uh, 
talk about what I've learned so so far from uh, resupplying. Um, I think it's good, you know, the night before that you're getting ready to go into town, you have a game plan on, you know, what you got to get done, how many days you need to get food for, and to also, before you even get into the town, have a good idea of what the layout's going to be like. Um, you know, let's say if you if it's a town and you're going to actually stay in that town, already have that, already have that figured out before you even get there. But if you're doing like what I did today, and it's just a resupply stop, I think there's some things that you need to have already a game plan for, and which one should be priorities. And um, a couple of those things are is what, where's the store at that you're gonna get food? You know, what time is it open? You know, where's the the restaurant at that you're gonna eat at? And another thing is, you know, our primary tool out here, you know, the king of multi-use gear is the cell phone, the thing I'm talking to right now. <laughs> um, finding a place to charge, finding an outlet, I think is a priority. And also, um, something that kind of may get overlooked before you leave town is uh, toilet paper. Make sure to stop at a restroom, you know, and after you're done using it, Go ahead and give you get you a wad and stick it in your Ziploc bag before you before you head out. Just a little bit extra. And I'd I'd probably keep that as a something in your head every time you get to a restroom. Just go ahead and just grab a little bit of extra toilet paper, you know, and stash that. Um, but yeah, find the store you're gonna resupply at. Already have a game plan of how many days, you know, how many snacks, how many breakfasts, how many dinners you need. Think about electrolyte mixes coffee mixes, breakfast essentials, you know, just already have a good game plan so you can get in there, in and out. And a good thing, maybe the first thing to do is locate a, locate a um, an outlet to charge from, because then you can plug your stuff in and then go eat, um, get your food resupply, and maybe by the time that you're done with all that, you have enough charge to carry on. And then don't forget your tool paper. That's my uh, pro tip for today. What's up guys all right i just checked far out we're about 1.2 away from that shelter we got maybe uh probably 0 0.3 0 0.4 up um we gotta we'll climb up like 0 0.3 0 0.4 up and then we'll be dropping down into the shelter and i'm gonna call it a night it is uh five o'clock i'm gonna call it in or call it an early day because i'm gonna try and get some videos edited and then uh tomorrow when i'm on top of you know, Che will bald or someplace, I might be able to upload a video. But, uh, or, depending on what the signal is here, maybe I can hear too. But uh, it'd be nice if I can get two videos edited, get them out. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. And I'd say we're pretty close to a mile away from camp. I'll see you guys when we get there. Let's 
gonna be camp. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the morning.